last day of Rahatsu Sashin. Homage to all those who have sat up the previous night. To commemorate the Buddha's awakening. December 7th at the local Zen Center. This is the last day of their seventh seven-day meditation retreat called the Rohatsu in Japanese, which is traditionally on or commemorating Bodhi Day, the anniversary of the Buddha's awakening. Eighth day of the twelfth month. Where the Buddha sat all night and went through three watches. <clears throat> progressively realizing the stages of enlightenment. But one part of the story I like that is not often emphasized is the part where the young girl brings him an offering of rice milk. This is after his seven years of austerity and near starvation, eating one grain of rice a day. Or <clears throat> and there are statues of sh depicting him in basically skin and bones. But Right before his awakening, he accepted this offering from this young girl of a bowl of rice milk. And evidently she, the legend says, she thought, and her name was Sujata, and she thought he was a spirit. She had just given birth the legend says, and she wanted to give thanks for her child and offered this to what she believed it to be a spirit. And there is even a temple dedicated to her. I mean, evidently she figured uh, quite importantly in the early legends and uh, I was just reading Wikipedia, and they mentioned this temple, the Sujata Vihara, which was dated from the 2nd century AD, so some 700 years after the Buddha, and perhaps finished in the 8th or 9th century, and it's very... <coughs> uh, near Bodh Gaya, maybe they said a 20 minute walk from Bodh Gaya. Because she would have had to be near the location the Buddha was sitting. But what um, rings true about this story is after seven years of austerity, getting this rich food full of nutrition and perhaps sweet, sweet um, milk and rice. Imagine what that would do to the body and the mind, this rush of energy. 
it would be incredible after seven years of fasting. It would be an amazing transformation you would feel. And I, uh, I think that is an essential part to his awakening. This, it's a phys physiological, part of physiological. This energy gave, helped his determination. It's often not mentioned, but I think it's as significant as the, the signs he encountered before home leaving. So on Rohatsu, where they traditionally sit up all night on the last evening of the retreat or the sashin. It takes energy. I've only done myself two Rohatsus, I think. Uh, and I'm probably too old to have the uh, energy to sit through seven days, I think. Uh, I debated it, but regretfully I felt I wasn't in shape. <laughs> Maybe next year <clears throat> I sat with one teacher last year year or two years ago who mentioned Hakokyo Henko who told the story of never missing a Ryuhatsu for some 25 years since he had first started practicing which was impressive dedication so on the last night of Buddha's awakening, having eaten this offering of rice milk, feeling the energy coursing through his body, sitting through three, three stages of awakening at the night, three watches, he sees the morning star, Venus, and becomes enlightened. How fitting to encounter this light, the first light of the morning, the morning star, and realizing the simultaneity of this light itself experiencing no time in the timeless realm, even though having traveled millions and millions of miles. The Buddha becomes one with this light and realizes the luminous nature of mind. So an homage to that night, here is a sutra from this collection, The Essentials, and it's, one, it's the second one, fittingly, in the list. <clears throat> since it's an important statement of the reality of realization that has been confirmed and repeated for millennia by all the practitioners and followers of the Buddha. Luminous is this mind, brightly shining, but it is colored by the attachments it visited. This unlearned people do not really understand, and so do not cultivate the mind. Luminous is this mind, brightly shining, and it is free of the attachments it visited. This, the noble follower of the way, really understands. So for them, there is cultivation of the mind.